You know, they're canning, they're canning all over the place. They're canning all over each other. <laughs> they're canning everywhere. So, I watched the most anticipated movie of the year, Barbie. Does it live up to the hype? No. Is it still a good movie? Yes. If you've been living under a rock, Barbie is a live action movie about the doll of the same name, played by Margot Robbie. She is joined by Ken, played by literally me, Ryan Gosling, on her quest to the real world to find out what is causing her to experience problems in her everyday life. Alright, before I talk about my issues with the movie, I want to talk about what I enjoyed. This movie achieves the most important thing about a comedy, which is being funny. I was regularly laughing throughout the movie as there are tons of funny jokes. I also love the production of the movie. The Barbie world looks perfectly artificial like a world full of dolls would. The sets are incredible and I admire a movie going through the effort of building a human scale dollhouses in the era of shooting everything on a green screen. The costume design is great as well. I'm sure you've seen the rollerblading and cowboy outfits at this point but there are tons of great outfits in the movies and much like actual dolls they are constantly switching outfits. Aside from the opening song which I thought was terrible, the music in the movie is great, and I really enjoyed all of the musical and dance scenes. They are well choreographed and fun to watch. I especially love Ryan Gosling's song towards the end of the movie. Speaking of Ryan Gosling, he is the standout of the movie for me. Every line he said had me laughing, especially the ones that involved his rivalry with Simu Liu, who is also great. They have such a homoerotic vibe going on with their ultra bro-y robbery. I was hoping they would kiss at the end, but they don't, which was pretty disappointing. The film also has a strong feminist message, which is pretty cool. Parts of it feel like an ad, which I will get into later, and it's definitely pink capitalism, girl boss feminism, but as the world is terrible right now. We gotta take what W's we can get. Seeing the right-wing backlash to this movie has been hilarious. I especially love Shadowversity's endless quest to embarrass himself and its decision to feature a PNG of a woman to agree with his opinions in his video. What a fucking loser. Now on to what I didn't like. The movie opens with the original teaser trailer. You know, the one that's a 2000 reference with Barbie as the monolith. Doesn't work as the opening of the movie, especially since it's followed by an unrelated, more traditional opening scene. And I think it should have remained just like a little funny teaser trailer. I also wish there were more set pieces in the real world, which they only spend a short amount of time in. Normally I hate the reverse isekai fish out of water stuff, but in this movie, I, the execution of it was so well I thought it was the funniest stuff and I wish there was more of it. My main issues with the movie are structural and none of the emotional stuff working for me and there is a lot of emotional stuff in this movie probably like 30 minutes worth of emotional scenes where I just feel like nothing. The plot of the movie is very meandering. Most of the scenes don't have like a lot of plot momentum which is fine in a comedy but whenever there is like a plot or exposition important scene it's usually one of the the emotional scenes which like I said didn't work for me there's some mother-daughter stuff like that I think it's just extremely basic I mean it is technically a kids movie even though it really doesn't feel like it the end is especially egregious with the hammy emotional stuff and feels like an ad for the Barbie brand and how Barbie is empowering it can do anything when a good amount of the movie is like actually criticizing Barbie for like enforcing gender stereotypes but you know you can't do it too hard they're still trying to sell a product so they're trying to be like oh we're woke now and I think it feels really hollow and hurts the message of the movie when at the end it's kind of like an advertisement. The closest comparison to this movie I can think of is the Lego movie and I think the Lego movie doesn't feel like an ad because the real world stuff in the Lego movie is very limited and the conclusion of the movie isn't like that Lego is the greatest thing of all time and is empowering to people. Also I do agree with the feminist message but it's kind of, it's not presented in the best way. Like, a lot of the important message scenes are basically just a character preaching to the camera, which I think can turn some people off. I mean, I agree with the message so much that I'm fine with it, but from an artistic standpoint, it isn't the best decision to have just characters preach to the camera, basically. Anyway, I would definitely recommend this movie if you're interested in it, or on even on the fence, I think you'll enjoy it. Unless you're Shadowversity, then you'll piss your pants crying over the presence of a trans actress. Have you seen Barbie? What did you think of it? What's your favorite right-wing temper tantrum? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to like and subscribe for more content. Bye-bye!